Welcome to the Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. There has been, just today, another big decision in the landmark case of Donald Trump v. getting caught. Because this morning, in New York City, hear yeah. this, in New York City, former Trump lawyer Michael Cohen was sentenced to three years in prison. Now, <laughs> justice, justice. Yeah. Now, a little tip for Mr. Cohen. First day in prison, you walk right up to the biggest guy in the yard, <laughs> you pay him $130,000. <laughs> okay? Boom. Boom. Get him Before Cohen money. climbed uh, up onto the prison bus, he made sure to throw Trump under it. <laughs> telling the court, recently the president tweeted a statement calling me weak, and it was correct, but for a much different reason than he was implying. It was because time and time again, I felt it was my duty to cover up his dirty deeds. And evidently, you suck at it. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Sure. Not good at it. Not good at it. Good there you have it. But anyway, there you have it. Right there from Cohen, Trump did Dirty Deeds, who I believe was Stormy Daniels' co-star. Oh, snap. Starring Dirty Deeds. Now, <laughs> Cohen bared his tortured soul, saying, my weakness can be characterized as a blind loyalty to Donald Trump. Yes, his only real crime was being loyal to Donald Trump which we now know is a felony. <laughs> Cohen went on to say, it was that sense of loyalty that led me to choose a path of darkness over light. <laughs> yes. He chose darkness over light, and I believe we have a footage of the moment that Donald Trump hired him. Join me, Michael, and pay off the porn star that spanked me. But Cohen... Crossroads. Cohen... Man. Please, fans. Good news is Cohen isn't under Trump's uh, teeny tiny thumb anymore. <laughs> Telling the court, this may seem hard to believe, but today is one of the most meaningful days of my life. I have been living in a personal and mental incarceration ever since the fateful day that I accepted the offer to work for a real estate mogul whose business acumen that I deeply admired. Oh, I thought you worked for Donald Trump. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's, that's what you mean. I, I didn't know. I figured it was like, mogul, I didn't... Okay, admired. Okay, great. But that's how... That's how, that's how bad working for Donald Trump is. Michael Cohen is happy to trade metaphor jail for jail. <laughs> he went on rather poetically, the irony is today is the day I am getting my freedom back. Actually, the irony is that while you're in prison for your crimes, the guy who ordered you to do the crimes will be at Mar-a-Lago sharing chocolate cake with Xi Jinping and Kid Rock. <laughs> now, of all the sad pictures we've seen of Michael Cohen during his slow descent into finding out what the law is, <laughs> none may be sadder than today's courtroom sketch. <laughs> That's pretty bad. That's really bad. sad. That's, that's pretty bad. Sad For a reaction, we go live now to courtroom Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> courtroom Tom Brady looks like he deflated his head. <laughs> on, Even later. more unsettling, uh, who is that sorrowful creature <laughs> hovering over Michael Cohen's shoulder? Was the courtroom haunted by sad Steven Tyler? <laughs> Down in Washington, they're still recovering from yesterday's Oval Office battle royale between Donald Trump, Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, and the corpse of Mike Pence. <laughs> Donald Trump, he looks fresh. Come on, Michael Pence. They, they ice him down every night. Yeah. <laughs> like Only he's a salmon. Man. Donald Trump is trying to put a positive spin on Donald Trump's performance, but one person's not buying that. Uh, that's Donald Trump. 
Because according to witnesses, Trump stormed out of the Oval, had in his hand a folder of briefing papers, then threw them across the room. Oh, no! Now, how is he not going to read his briefing? <laughs> witnesses say that Trump was mainly frustrated with Chuck Schumer, saying that his old New York sparring buddy, he felt, got the better of him, goaded him into it. Chuck got me this time <laughs> using my own personal kryptonite opening my mouth. <laughs> you said, look, this is how it went down. <laughs> this, is, this is the art of the deal guy, right? This is Mr. Art of the Deal. Tr <laughs> Trump said, Trump said, Chuck, you want to shut down the government. Schumer said, no, sir, you want to shut down the government. Then Trump said, yes, I do, checkmate. <laughs> I have only seen negotiating that good one time before. Wabbit season. Duck season. Wabbit season. Wabbit season. Duck season. Fire! Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. <laughs> oh, what a maroon. And that's not all. Yesterday, Nancy Pelosi told Democrats that in private, Trump once again claimed Mexico is going to pay for the wall. That man lives in a fantasy world. Look, Mexico is going to pay for the wall, and it's going to be made of ice, and we're going to have dragons. <laughs> then, on the next season of Game of Thrones, I am Khaleesi's sex butler. 